So the lighting might be extremely terrible in this video, plus I look like I have no neck because I'm wearing a turtleneck, and yeah. Also there's a sleeping puppy sitting next to me, so if he gets up and moves around during this video, I'm sorry. But it is the end of May, and I'm sorry that I didn't post on Wednesday, it has just been a crazy week. We have a family staying with us, and I have just been really, really busy applying for jobs and trying to be an adult and all these crazy things. So I'm a little off on my schedule, but I'm back for a May favorites. I cannot believe how fast May went by. So crazy, but I actually have quite a few things to show you guys today. And I'm just gonna jump into it because there's a lot and we want to make this the shortest video we can, so I'm going to start with beauty items. Okay, my number one favorite beauty item of the month is definitely the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. This is the baby size. I have used the All Nighter Spray forever, and I just thought that I wanted to try the D Slick because I do have oily skin, and I was like, I'm just gonna give it a try. So I did, I love it. My makeup doesn't really budge at all. I don't notice any oil whatsoever. This stuff is amazing and I love it, and I will definitely be buying the full size instead of the all-nighter when I need to repurchase it. Second beauty item I have is actually one of my like all-time favorite products, but I haven't had it in a while, and um, I just got the small size, but it is the Tarte BB Cream Tinted Treatment Primer. I think they might have changed this a little bit, but I'm wearing it today, but this is such a great BB cream because it dries to a powder finish, and I hate BB creams that are like, um, they almost still feel sticky on your skin, but this is actually pretty powdery, and it lasts a good while, and this is just a great product to throw on when you don't want to do a full face of makeup up or you just want to like kind of even out your complexion without actually putting on like a full thing of foundation so I really love that and I am in the color light. Next thing is a product from Pixi and this is their correction concealer I guess in brightening peach. A lot of people have talked about this on YouTube and that's why I decided to try it but it is a little um, like dark circle erasing concealer. I kind of use it as a concealer base sometimes but this is actually really good. It really does make your dark circles like disappear and it's really great. It's not crazy expensive but it is like $12 and the pot is really really small like this is a comparison to something else I'm going to talk about in a second. So it is tiny, but I think it's really good stuff and you don't really need a lot. So I hope that it will last a long time, but I like it so far. Okay, next thing I have is, I guess technically makeup, but it's actually makeup remover and it is a makeup eraser pen. This is from the brand Prestige and I saw this at um, Ulta and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. And it is basically like a felt tip pen, like felt tip marker but it's makeup remover. So this is super awesome if you get mascara like on your eyeshadow or your um, eye, you know, eyeliner wing is like not quite how you want it. This just takes like, you just go like this and it comes right off. And I'm obsessed with this. This is awesome if you're a winged liner girl because if you mess up your wing liner, you don't have to take all your makeup off or mess with really messy makeup remover. So this is pretty stinking awesome and I'm so glad that I picked it up. Last true to life makeup item is the NYX Contour Palette. I have been looking for this forever. Um, I am not much of a contour girl on a day-to-day -day basis until I got this kit. I actually picked it up for a friend's wedding um, because I was a bridesmaid and I knew I'd be taking pictures, so I wanted to be kind of sculpted or whatever, and I am wearing it today. I don't know if you can really tell. I hope it's blended, um, but I really love this, and this is the first contour like product that I've really noticed a difference with with a little bit of product, and the highlighters are so awesome, and I will show you you. They have all of these different colors and these are replaceable so if you like break one or it runs out you can replace it but they have this I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell kind of yellowy shade which is awesome if you have some redness you want to cover up. I usually use this right here because that's where I get red and it highlights but it also cancels out the red and then they've got all of these different colors that you can kind of mix together and use for different reasons. These two are really pretty 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 for highlighting. Love this. I'm so glad I got it and I know that I'm going to use this a whole lot. Next things I have are sort of skincare products and the first one you guys have heard me talk about forever and it's the Triple Action Cleansing Water from Sephora. I love this and I ended up getting the big bottle and I love this one this month because one I've been using it a ton because it's summer and I'm really lazy and it also has a pump kind of like a nail polish remover pump but I love that it has a pump on it because you don't use as much product and it is just really handy and you don't have to get all messy. So I love this. Next thing, you guys know I love the Clinique Moisture Surge um, 
moisturizer, but it is pretty pricey. So I saw a commercial for this one, and this is the Neutrogena Hydro, Bo Hydro Boost Gel Cream um, moisturizer. And this, I think, is supposed to be kind of a, you know, similar product. I will say that it is not quite as good as the Clinique because I feel like the Clinique one is a little thinner in a good way. This is definitely thicker. Um, but this is also like half the price. Um, it is kind of expensive for a Neutrogena product and it basically looks the same without the pink dye. Um, but this is such an affordable alternative to the Clinique one and I think you actually get more product. Um, but I have been liking this. It's unscented, which is great for me because you guys know I'm allergic to fragrance. So there's no fragrance, no dyes, no nothing. So it's basically just like super good for your skin and good for sensitive skin. So I really enjoyed this and I will treat myself to the Clinique one every once in a while, but I think this will be my new go-to because it's inexpensive and it actually works really well. And my next one, this is actually really random and I basically was in a rush in a store and I really needed some shaving cream. So I picked up the EOS or EOS, whatever you want to call it, um, shave cream. And this is in the scent pomegranate raspberry. This smells really good. I can use this because it rinses off so I don't have to worry about the fragrance but this actually makes your skin so, so, so soft. And um, I really like to shave with baby oil, but it's really messy and it makes the hair like clump together and like stick to your tub. So I don't use it all the time, but once I found this, I realized that I really don't need to do that anymore because it makes your skin really, really soft and moisturized and I really, really love it. I don't know how much it was. I hope it's not expensive because like I said, I was in a rush. So I was like, I got to get in here and get out. But I do really, really love it, and I'm glad I tried it. And I think they have other scents, so I might try some other scents, but this is awesome stuff. Okay, so that is all of the beauty and skincare products I have. I do have one fashion favorite, and it is, oh no, it's underneath my tripod. Okay, I got um, a gift card for my birthday from a friend to go to Urban Outfitters. So I ended up buying the dress I'm wearing, um, and this really, really cute, dainty, double, like, necklace. It's like attached, so there's two necklaces. And this first one is almost like a little sun shape. And then down here is a similar shape with a little so, uh, clear crystal. And I love this because it's just so dainty and it makes it look like I actually like tried to layer my necklaces when I didn't. And I've been wearing this a ton and it's just so pretty and so dainty. And I really, really, really love it. Okay, so moving on to random favorites. I talked about this in my last video, uh, my last favorites video, but I don't care because I got it at the end of the month last month, and this month this thing has been my heart and soul, and it is my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, you guys, like I said, I talked about this before, so I'm not going to go into super detail, but I literally, this thing comes with me pretty much everywhere. Mostly when I'm in the house, it comes up and down stairs with me. It's got lists, it's got schedules, it's got stuff for job applications. It had all of my graduation checks in it to like deposit and to write thank you notes. And it's cute, it's beautiful, I love it. So I went out and I actually got some new pens. I think I showed you guys these last month, but I was gonna show you again. These are the Stabler Tri Plus Fine Liner. I really, really love these. These are like felt tip. They're sort of, sort of like Sharpie pens, and I really love these, and I do want to keep using these, but I am somebody that cannot keep things straight most of the time and end up needing to move stuff around my planner, and it was getting really messy because I had to cross things out, and it just didn't look pretty. So I saw these in a planner video, which I'm obsessed with planner videos, and that's another one of my favorites, um, but I got these pens, which are, um, let's see, Pilot, friction ballpoint pens and basically these are erasable retractable pens and they are awesome because they actually erase they're not like you know the ones that you used in high school or in middle school where like it sort of left a blue ring and it didn't really come off these actually come off to where you really can't see them you do get a little bit of leftover stuff sometimes but they pretty much come all the way off and it's so so awesome so I love those I love my Erin Condren planner my next favorite is just planner videos. I watch planner videos like hours a day now. Like I probably watch three or four a day and they're usually 30 minutes long. I'm obsessed. I've ordered some stickers. I'm not going to go crazy, hopefully, but I do really like that it's like, you know, a mundane thing. Like a calendar is so boring and mundane, but you can make it really pretty with stickers and it can help you stay organized. And it's also nice to look at. So I love that. And my next favorite, which I'm actually not 100% done with, is Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. This is actually a signed copy, which is super cool. I don't really know how I got it. It was just at my Target. But 
First of all, this cover is unbelievably beautiful. Like, look at this cover. I want to like set it on display in my house. I love it. Um, the book has so far has been good. Sarah Dustin is one of my favorite authors. Um, I really, really love her books. I think my favorite ones are Along for the Ride and The Truth About Forever really really awesome books um but i've been reading this one it's been sweet it's been good um and i'm not done with it all the way i have like maybe three chapters or something left but i'm almost done with it and this is my first book of the summer so i thought i would mention it next physical favorite is my new macbook case now this i got for my birthday it was kind of a gift to myself because i picked it out and ordered it but it was from my parents um and it is just this uh faux marble looking case it's awesome it's kind of rubberized and then it has a white bottom on it but i just got this off of amazon it was only like 10 or 15 bucks which is really inexpensive for um a snap-on uh, mac case i'm obsessed with it i think it's so cute I don't know I just think it's really classy and I love it so that is my last physical favorite that I have and then I've got some other things to share with you I'm gonna try to go so quickly they're all on my computer but favorite TV shows of the month this is really random and probably really dumb but the entire Sabrina the Teenage Witch series is on Amazon instant and I've watched so much of it. I turned it on one day because I just wanted something happy and light in the background and I just kept watching it and I wish I had magical powers and maybe that's weird and maybe the show is kind of outdated, super outdated, but it's good. It's lighthearted. I've watched a lot of it. So th check that out on Amazon. And another one is actually a favorite from last month that I forgot to mention and I was kicking myself because I can't believe I forgot to mention it. But I watched the entirety of Daredevil on Netflix um, during April and um, you guys know I love Marvel movies. There are Marvel shows and movies that are like my favorite and so I watched Daredevil on Netflix. I will warn you though it is very violent kind of once you get past like probably the fourth or fifth episode. It starts to get pretty violent um, and it's because it's on Netflix and they don't really have the same regulations that TV does. Um, but it is really good. It's about a guy who goes blind and then he kind of has heightened senses and so he kind of fights crime. I don't know. It's actually pretty good. You should watch it if you're okay with violence It because it does get pretty violent, but it's good. Okay, I have, I don't usually do this, but I have some favorite YouTubers of the month and this month I discovered, she's been around forever. I've heard of her before, but I discovered Nikki Philippi. Um, I watched a couple of her videos that were really inspirational and just really sweet and very genuine and she does an entire video about her religion, which I just think is so awesome because it's just kind of, I don't really see a whole lot of that on YouTube and it was very honest and very open and I just really love her spirit and watching her videos. I can't believe I haven't watched them before and she just makes me really respect her and so I really love Nikki Philippi and then also one of my all-time favorite YouTubers in general is Egrin Nilsson or Miss Glamorazzi. Her channel lately has just been so beautifully done and so genuine and so helpful and just bright and sunny and important and I just really like she is who I aspire to be as a YouTuber and I just think she's a wonderful human being and a wonderful spirit and a wonderful YouTuber so if my channel evolves into half of what Ingrid's is I will be totally satisfied I love her I'm gonna link all these people down below but you should definitely go check her out if you don't know who she is do you live under a rock I don't know but she's amazing and then Elle Fowler or All That Glitters 21 is back on YouTube. She was out for a um, injury for a long time. She broke her back and she was the very first person I ever subscribed to on YouTube. And now she's making more videos and she seems so happy. And I actually got to meet her in Nashville while she was recovering from her surgery. She did a meetup and um, she's just, it was so sweet and so lovely. And we gave her some gifts and Blair some gifts and it was just really sweet. And it's so good to see her back on the internet and on YouTube and I love her videos and she's perfect so I will link her down there as well. Okay and last things I promise I feel like this video is going to be long but I have some favorite memories of the month. First one being that I graduated from college. I have officially have a degree. I graduated from university for you, those of you who don't live here. I am a graduate. I have a degree in entertainment industry studies with a minor in corporate communications. I am actively job hunting and I am a college graduate which is crazy. I'm done with school. 
cool. And I, you know, never thought I would see the day, but it's done and it's been awesome. And I'm actually back home. My second favorite memory of the month would be that my best friend Sarah got married and I got to stand up in her wedding and be a bridesmaid. And it was a really special weekend and just really sweet and I'm very happy for her. Um, and it was just, it was a lot of fun and it was a good day. My third memory of the month is that I turned 22. Um, now I didn't necessarily have the biggest, like most eventful birthday. It was actually just really kind of boring and nothing exciting happened. Other than I am gonna be going to see Taylor Swift at um, in LA on I believe August 26th. I'm going to the 1989 tour. I have not had tickets until now. I knew I wanted to go, but I just didn't have tickets. And now I have tickets in like one, Oh, seven or something like that at the Staples Center and I am out of my mind excited and I cannot wait so I will be there in Los Angeles if you're gonna be there please comment down below like I would love to like meet you guys that would be so awesome but those are all of my favorite memories of the month I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry my posting schedule has been off I promise I'll get back on track soon it's just been a crazy crazy couple of days we have a family staying with us like I said so I'll try to get back to normal, and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. In the meantime, my name is Parker, this is Stories in the Dust, and I really hope you'll stick around a while. Bye guys. You guys want to see Ryder? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Bye. Ryder. Hi, man. Ryder, man, say hello to the camera. Oh, you big puppy stretch.